In this demonstration, you'll learn about some of the exciting new features introduced in ANSYS Fluent 2020 R1. At startup, you'll see the improved Fluent Launcher with clearly defined workspaces and the option to immediately select your starting file. Now that Fluent's started, I'm going to group these boundaries by adjacency, then display them to make it easier to see the model. You'll notice that the graphics display looks much better with the enhanced graphics effects adding more realism to the display. You can control the specific effects shown via these options and preferences. You can either pick an overarching theme, like going for better graphics or better performance, or you can just pick the ones you like, and they'll be saved as a custom view. While I'm here in Preferences, I'll note that you can have Fluent automatically create a transcript of each session by enabling this option. Additionally, you'll see an option to set an application timeout, which you can use to free up licenses for running other Fluent simulations. To enable this feature, you'll need to use this option in the File menu. I'll hide the Console, Task Page, and Tree to maximize the size of the graphics window. If I select a surface, you'll see this Quick Edit panel pops up. It allows you to set up key elements of a boundary directly in the graphics window, while also providing you access to the full dialog box by clicking More. I can use Box Select by holding Control while I drag with the left mouse button to select surfaces and right-click to color them by a variable like Pressure. Creating planes and points is now easy and straightforward using the new Plane and Point tools. The tools appear as soon as you open the relevant dialog box and its appearance changes depending on the method you're using to create a surface. Now I'll restore the interface elements I hit earlier by clicking them on the left. I've got a few features to show you on the setup side. For editing multiple boundaries, I can now change which boundary I've selected as the baseline and see which are available versus being modified. I can also define expressions that are initially invalid, which is useful if I want to create an expression that I won't use until later, like after reaching a steady state solution, but before beginning a transient simulation. Here's a quick demo. I'll create this expression called velocity2 and set it equal to 2 times velocity1. Now I'll create velocity1 and set it equal to 10. When I refresh it, it shows the current value of the expression. I can also right-click an expression to compute its current value, which is 20 for velocity 2. When it comes to post-processing, one thing that's been made simpler is the handling of lighting methods and headlights, because Fluent now handles these things automatically. So my display of a scene that contains contours and path lines looks as good as it should. While monitoring drag and drag coefficients isn't new, sometimes you'll want to know how the coefficient develops over your model which is particularly relevant in aerodynamics. Using the cumulative plot, you can display the drag at intervals across your model to see how it develops. This concludes this demonstration. Thanks for watching.